like that we're in Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Look at it. Mickey's sitting on top of his throne up there. <laughs> yep, he's way up there. Looks like a fairly uh, fairly crowded day. It is a Monday at about what 6 p.m. Yeah, 6:20 p.m. We're just arriving, and it's pretty good. And what are we doing today? So, in honor of the new Indiana Jones Dial of Destiny, we are checking out all of the drinks at the Den of Destiny, which is going to be located right where they do the live action show of Indiana Jones. So, let's go yeah, check it out. Yeah, this should be awesome. Let's check it out. All right, so give us a thumbs up and hope you enjoy and hope you get to come out and check it out too. Yes, it's a warm one, so we're going to get some cold drinks and <laughs> see what's all, all right, there. Let's give it a try. Okay, so when you come in to the park, there's the Indiana Jones Stunt Spectacular. Here's Echo Lake. And it looks like it's just right past uh, the prime time. Yeah, yep. right here. There it is, yep. Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. We're gonna check this out. So past Hollywood and Vine, past 50s prime time, and there she is. Here we go, Den of Destiny. All right. Who's excited? Are you excited? Yes, let's go in. Um, ah, you There she is. Oh, all right, we gotta try these. Venture margarita, weathered fedora, and then the uh, green tea. One of each? Yeah, yes. one of each. Okay, that's the margarita. So that's our All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Okay, so we have the margarita here. That is uh, tequila, passion fruit, passion fruit green tea, or papaya green tea, cucumber, lime juice, a guava nectar. And then this is the, fed the weathered fedora, uh, Kentucky straight bourbon, sweet vermouth, vanilla, uh, ginger bitters, star anise, cinnamon, nutmeg, and an ice sphere. Look at that. We gotta check that out. And the green tea, non-alcoholic. That is just green tea, blood orange, lemon juice, and guava nectar. So let's give them a go. We got a nice little background here. All right, so first off, the adventurous margarita. Oh, it's nice. It's like cucumber, very, like, refreshing. Okay, weathered fedora. Weathered fedora. That's kind I of I like the name. I like the name. 
Is that probably bitter, like a, a Manhattan? Yeah, that's definitely in like Manhattan that it has like different spices. All right, non-alcoholic drink. This is the non-alcoholic. It's got green tea. Oh, also very good. Green tea and it's got passion fruit in it as well. All right, awesome. What's your favorite? So probably I'm gonna go with the margarita and then probably the green tea. And then I would go for like the Manhattan type feel. The which, poor weathered fedora. Yeah. All right, very good. So, give him the margarita a try first. See, so taste the cucumber in there, which is different for a margarita. I like it. It's fresh. Refreshing. That's very good. Okay, weathered fedora. I'm expecting like a Manhattan, but... Oh. All right. Not a Manhattan. Cinnamon, all kinds of good things. Oh yeah, I like this a lot. Uh, this is good. All right, I like that one. And then this is the green tea. Passion for green tea. That's, a, that's really good. All right, so yeah, I'll give this the win and then this one, then maybe the margarita. All right, we're opposite. But we like it. And then now we gotta try the beers. All right, so cheers. Boom. Andy likes that one. I like this one. This one's really good. And then we're wow. both kind of fans yeah. of the, le or, uh, the green tea, so. So I'm good to work on this here uh, weathered fedora you can have. Yeah. I'll stick with it. This reminds me a lot of uh, cucumber sunrise that we had on our cruise. It tastes like a splash of like root beer in here. I think it. I think what it is, wow. it has like nutmeg or something. Wow, yeah. that's and really I don't good. Like it. All right. I like the spear inside. Oh, all right. Cigar City High Ally, which means high life. It's super bitter. You try that. Yeah. I yeah, that's that's a tough one, man. Oh, no, I can just tell by smelling it. I wasn't going to like it. <laughs> yeah, so if you like high bitter, like a IPA, you'll you'll like that. And then, and this then one. this other one is the Lost Coast Tangerine Wheat Ale. Right, cheers. So this sounds like more up our alley. Our alley. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. All right, well, we'll cheer anyway. Boom. I'll probably struggle through this, but... Oh, yeah. If you, you, you get, like, like a little whiff of tangerine in That's not bad. Original Raiders of the Lost Ark. This is where we enjoyed our drinks. Outside, they have the tank. And then they have the other car. And then a squirrel. Oh yeah, Stunt Spectacular right there. That's pretty cool. We need to see that again. Squirrel. <laughs> hey, buddy. What do you got there? He's having a good time. Oh yeah, there's where the boulder runs down. Yeah, we've never been on this side of the... I know, maybe this has always been here. 
Probably. I, I honestly don't know. Let us know if this has always been here, if you've been yeah, on this side. Yeah, has the tank always been here, everybody? <laughs> okay, so we're leaving the... <laughs> the den. We're, we're leaving the den, Indiana Jones den, den of Destiny. Destiny. I may have had plenty by now. I mean, there was like two cocktails. Well, we shared it all, but... Yeah, we shared everything. And now and the beers and we're mixing. Not even sure if we're going to finish the beers because I'm not a big beer fan. And oh, and yeah, so. this. so we ended up combining the remaining half beers. It didn't make it any like better. Like the really hoppy one and then the tangerine one. But all right, it, so here's the other thing. So this was kind of the theme of the day. Oh, last show, 4.30. Yeah, it 4:30. used to be 5 o'clock. Well, it's a half hour long, so it ends at 5. Okay, so if we ever want to see this show, we need to be here at like by 4 o'clock maybe. Wait. All right, one, two, three. All right. Oh. That's creepy. Oh, all right. <laughs> No. It's a grasshopper. One of those jumped on my shoulder when I was cutting the grass. I'm not getting it anywhere near that thing. We think it's uh, Jimmy Cricket. Hopefully nobody oh, did steps on it. somebody step on it? I don't know. He just won't move. That's kind of odd. All right. What are we doing? <laughs> on your hip, look heroic, Andy. You can make some <laughs> Thank you. Right, thank you. So if you try to round up rodeo, we have yet to be able to make a reservation. So let us know if you tried it yet and let us know how it is. Yeah, we, we hear, would like to try that someday. We hear it's not the best barbecue on property, but the experience is fun. Well, when we saw someone try it, it was the opening week. So maybe they've ironed out everything. Andy's coming. Andy, where? That's what they say inside. Andy's oh, coming. Andy. <laughs> and then oh, you gotta get quiet. So we're wanting to do Tower of Terror. Andrew said it's 40 minutes and we're a little hungry. A brown derby is like a 10 minute standby line. Now, so. here's a little prefix. So I haven't been on Tower of Terror since, wait, 2008. What was, eight, eight, do the math quickly. That's only like a, 15 years. Okay, so I haven't done ter Tower of Terror in 15 years, and I came off of it, and I was literally white as a ghost, and I was in tears. So I did go, you haven't seen this yet, but I did go in Disneyland. I went on uh, the Guardians, which is their version of Tower of Terror, yeah. and I said it was okay. So I, I'm thinking you it might be it. the whole theming of um, the Twilight Zone. Oh, is we gotta be. Like, oh, we're ready. ready. We're ready. Okay. But it was a 15 minute wait. It was a two minute wait. No, she said it was a 10 minute wait. It was a two minute wait. And we have a little debate going on. So we're gonna show you the old footage. We came here and we didn't do a vlog on it, but we sat at the same exact table. Andy thinks we were down further, I but think we were, we're right at here. That table. She thinks we're at this table. Yeah. But there's the doorway. So we'll we see did who's not, right. We did not sit directly across from the door. We were yeah. closer to the bar and we were staring at this high top here that we were hoping we were gonna get because nobody was at. Yeah, Hands and we down, got, we were here. So we got a filet mignon, and I forget what Andrew got. We didn't like it. And we got a shrimp cocktail. This time, we were told, do the Cobb Cobb salad. salad. We will put in some footage right here of what we had the last time. The filet and the whatever Andrew had. <laughs> and we'll say what we thought of it. But here, we're going to try the Cobb salad. We have a filet, Woo! filet mignon. All right, Andrew has braised short ribs. I shouldn't even need a knife. All right, so we're trying a mint julep, but with alcohol, and it just tastes like whiskey and no sugar. So we were thinking in our heads it was Magic Kingdom's mint julep, but with just a little like hint of alcohol, but 
she didn't know what alcohol it was and she brought it out and it's definitely whiskey. Whiskey or bourbon. But she's gonna ask the bartender to bring us a little muddled uh, mint leaves with simple syrup so we yeah, can so add we can and kind it, of adjust it. Yeah, because this needs to be, I was thinking like Magic Kingdom's mint jewel, <laughs> which is nice and sweet and minty. This is just bitter and not sweet at all. So it needs something. Okay, so our first time trying the cob salad. This looks really good. Look at it. Oh boy. Oh wow. And Andrea is about ready to try it. She got the cob salad. I think I got a little bit of everything. I didn't know there was avocado. So this is what we should have tried our first time. Mm. No. Nope. But I had a filet and it was so so. And no, this is way better. But they said the Brown Derby created the cob salad. The cob salad. Yeah, like they invented it. So, yeah, yeah. And this was like a lemony kind of uh, uh, poppy seed dressing. Poppy seed? Oh, it's poppy seed? Oh, boy. I think so. Yeah, all right. I may like this. Okay, it's got meat, it's got egg, it's got blue cheese. Tomato, avocado, bacon, it looks like. It looks like it has everything. That's really good. Okay, I could like this better than the filet I have. Yeah. What do you think? All right, very good. Cobb salad for the win. Okay, so first bite, we really thought this was the best thing ever, but it's a little too much blue cheese, and I'm not sure I would get this again. So we may be done with uh, the Brown Derby. I'm sorry well, to say. Unless have you been here before, tell us what you got, yeah. and let us know so we can try different things, because yeah. we've only been here twice. And right now it's been kind of a O oh for two. This started great, but it's getting to be a bit much. It would kind of be. Cheese. It would kind of be good as like a side yeah. salad. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect. But as for a dinner, it's a bit much. It's too much for a dinner. Yeah, a side like a fourth of this would be perfect. I mean, Hollywood Studios is hit or miss for food, honestly. <laughs> so. We have trouble finding a go-to at Hollywood Studios for food other than Sci-Fi Diner or a 50s Primetime. Or the Wookiee Cookie. Well, but the last time was dry. No. No? Okay. No, it was excellent. And then the drink, I would trade this for a Pepsi. Yeah, we even had extra simple syrup and simple, it's yeah. just, it's too much whiskey. I was expecting the sweet, um, Tastes more like a, um, like a, uh, what do you call that? Very strong mojito. It's like a mojito that's, yeah. Oh, look at this, guys. So, this is why we like Hollywood Studios. This has to be the best visual. Walking down Sunset Boulevard, is it? Alright, this is amazing. Maybe for some. <laughs> wow. You got these tall palm trees. Okay, this is just so cool. Look at the Tower of Terror down there. Huh, is the D supposed to be flashing like, and the o, other O is missing? That's not making me want to ride it anymore. <laughs> Let's check it out. Love the billboards. I'll go on and on about these billboards. Between the mint julep and the uh, Indiana Jones experience, I think we're done. Yeah. But we're gonna check the wait time on Hollywood Tower of Terror. I think it's closed. It can't be closed. All right, she says it's closed. 
Ah, it's a 13 minute wait. Andrea says, okay. What do you think? All right, you could decide to pass through or not. We'll get one ride. All right, 13 minutes. Oh, this is so cool. All right, remember how much you like Guardian of the Galaxy. But I didn't just eat before going on Guardians of the Galaxy. It'll all settle. What, once it flies out? Wow. That's crazy. Look at this. Wow. All right, I'm blown away by like the view of everything. Look up. See this room. I didn't have to sit in the chairs and wait. No. But see? I will say I have a really bad headache because for that wait. no wait, I literally had stress unbelievably waiting and my head it hurts so bad. Alright, now we gotta check in because we're gonna stay here the night, I think. I'm out. Hello. <laughs> Now we need a shirt that says, I survived. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Look at this gift shop, though. <sighs> I mean, that's a sight right there. Look at that. <laughs> you need the little bell. <laughs> you did it. She did it. <sighs> Everyone tell her she did a good job. She was worried. And now Dude, she wants to go again. I had... <laughs> Tears she were forming, did. anxiety was pumping, <laughs> and I couldn't tell if I was going up or down until my butt left the seat. And she literally <laughs> went from you hate me to let's <sighs> go again. Okay. So that's 
That's something right there. I knew uh, it. I knew it would be fine after eating because <laughs> I don't think it would, it's like not like head over heels spinning. I don't and, know, but I'm very like I rem when I when I went on it 15 years ago. I remember the ride being a lot longer and the anticipation being a longer wait. All right, well, so, so I'm glad you could do this because I really like this ride. Cool. Oh man, look at this. So next thing for Andrea to conquer, and I think this is going to be Friday, she's going to conquer the rock and roller coaster right here. Look at this. And it's back open now. They renovated the whole ride. Look Definitely. At that. I need more time after eating for that. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That looks awesome. So here's where we've never, we've always went right here. We've never went past here, but look. Yeah, we never yeah. even noticed this area before. Yeah. Let us know if you've, oh, it's got the cars. Let us know if you've done this here. All right, well, this looks really cool. We have never been here, never. Oh, so cool. All I don't right. know, I'm still floating high from. <laughs> <laughs> I know, she's got the adrenaline oh, rush. Oh, my eye is twitching, I, I was so stressed. All right, so I think we'll wrap it up here. So give us a thumbs up. Especially for Andrea, tell her good job riding Tower Terror and fighting her demon. 15 years, right? We did, we, yeah, 15 years. Ooh, fireworks. Ooh, fireworks. Ooh. Nice. So I think we did the math right, 2008. So 15 years ago, I rode it. I was in tears. My dad is laughing hysterically at the ride, and I just wanted to crawl in a hole. <laughs> and she did it. So I did it. Ooh, so good job. So, so let's give go her home now. like a good comment for yes. conquering. Subscribe. Her That's all we care. There about. you go. All right, let's go. All right.